top of the morning to you. And everybody's booing me. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. So anyways, we're here in Ireland. Got a busy, busy, busy day. It's 6.30 a.m. local time, running on zero sleep. Oh my God, sleep. put your camera away. This is so stupid. <laughs> zero sleep and wearing a very appropriate shirt for today because it is morning. June 11th, which means today is the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. And, and and I brought my little buddy here with me too. This is this is, what the heck is this? this is Eddie the Educator. <laughs> We're on our bus uh, headed towards Bunratty Castle in the southwest of Ireland. Yeah, yeah. We just can't get over how yeah. green everything is. Sorry? And just how gorgeously blue um, the sky the is. The like I made the comment that it's so blue. Like it literally looks like the opening to The Simpsons. Okay, so we, we made a stop in the town of Moneygall. Moneygall, Ireland. About, about an hour away from Bunratty Castle. And this service station rest area here in money golf just so happens and i mean we just we we can't get over it just it it, it makes sense when i explain it to you but we are at barack obama plaza this service station is named for president obama and the reason they said was back in 2011 President Obama found out that his great 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 grandfather came from the town of Monegal. And so, in recognition of that, the town built and named this rest area after President Obama. You walk in, and there he is, person of the year. And they have this, this is fantastic. Just. I can't get over this. Just a regular old rest area. I did not want to film while inside because it was packed. But if you have never had an orange arena, they are fantastic. And you can really only find them sparingly in the U.S., but they are all over Europe. And they are great. And then this is my little snack for the road. They always have different flavored Pringles over here in Europe. And paprika just so happens to be my favorite one. They have like a shrimp cocktail flavored Pringle can in there, and I just could not bring myself to do that. And we've made it to Bun Ratty Castle in Folk Park. And I think you get a little bit of a guided tour before we uh, get to do some exploring. Inside the castle. I don't know why this keeps going in and out of focus for y'all. It's a lot to take in. Came up some more stairs and found a little tiny bedroom. We got a little tiny bedroom. Get upstairs in your tiny bedroom right now. Tiny bed. Narrow walkways. And we reached the roof. Please, please do your Irish jig on the roof. Wait, 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 wait. Let me record that, please. <laughs> Thank you, Reese. You're welcome. Here's a, a just kind of trip. There's a little ledge right here. As I look out here. Okay, 
back down on the ground now and taking in all this from a whole nother angle of the castle. Pretty well preserved for being about 600 years old. So I showed off the castle, but I wanted to show off the whole folk park area here. It's almost, you know, set up like back home what we would think of as like a renaissance festival just without the full-on cosplayers and LARPers and stuff like that. So you've got all different areas and houses. You've got the full-on village here. You've got spots where you can go and see certain animals, a children's play place all around the village. So next we're just going to start walking and see what we can see. So this is the fisherman's house. Cool. Small so little area here. Ooh, it's strong, isn't it? Yeah, strong, strong smell. Like hands in the morning. <laughs> in the bedroom. It's a boat. This is the farmhouse. What do we got back here? Oh, bedroom. Oh, baby crib. It, it really is, and it's so, it's so strong. Such a strong smell. I guess you get used to it. Could you imagine if that was your mayor? So right across from the farmhouse are these goats out here all pinned up. And there is a baby goat, but he's way over there now. See him? He's so cute. We made it to the village. Here's pottery. Pottery workshop. These are actual little stores that are still operational, I believe. And then the pub. The pub is right there in front of us. The pub didn't work out because they didn't have very many choices. So we're back at basically the cafeteria, Mr. O'Regan's. And I got a southern fried wrap, which is fried chicken, um, cheese, lettuce, and like a chili, sweet chili sauce. Came with chips, and they had a giant chocolate chip cookie. So I got a giant chocolate chip cookie. And then Doug got a sandwich with chicken and brie and tomato. He got a couple of desserts, pear, almond tart, and carrot cake. Ooh, they got a little cream already on the table. A little cream for you. Yeah. As we're getting ready to leave here, wanted to get this on here for Chad. Golf course, pitch and putt, seven kilometers to my right. That was a fun little trip. Now we're gonna get back on our bus here in a minute. And we're gonna head to the town and area of Killarney. Whew, okay. A couple hours later, and we are in downtown Killarney. And some of us are fixing to go on a little horse and buggy ride through the national park. Here's Coach Johnson in the back of the paddy wagon. He's used to being in the back of paddy wagons. There's the other group. And then this might be ours.
Japanese guy. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Dolly, please do not get too close to that guy. Did you see the size of him? Job number three. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> Lay down. Let's see back on fourteen. Said three guys. Let's do a room tour, guys. Um, this is the view as you come in. There's kind of like an entry area. I have my luggage already set up on the luggage rack up front here. Does have one of those um, power chargers that you've got to put your key in to get started. Right when you walk in, you've got a couple outlets and of course, being here in Ireland and the UK, you have to have the specific adapter. Make sure you don't forget that. Then immediately here on the right, you have the bathroom, just a single sink and pretty large mirror to help you get ready. Hey everybody, a towel rack, toilet, no bidet. Sorry for those of y'all that love, love, love bidets, but don't have one in this bathroom. And then have a shower tub combo here. I'm definitely taking a shower tonight because um, I don't want to spend a lot of my time in the morning figuring out just how to work this if it is tricky because um, I will take another shower in the morning. Uh, then you walk into the main bedding area and it's just me in here. Um, and this is one of the largest rooms I have ever had by myself. So Doug is rooming with his son. So we're not in a room together. So I'm in here. You can see um, it's basically a queen and a twin. But if you can tell, you can kind of see the rivet here in the middle. It's two twins pushed together. There is a ton of storage. Okay. You've got all this closet space. And then over here, you've got basically your tea set. You've got your pressing over here. You have your ironing board to go with the iron and even more closet space. You've got two bedside tables with two lamps that can be operated, as you can see, from both sides of the bed. Um, I only had one outlet to work with over here. The fan did come with the room. That's not my own personal fan because, as you can see, there's no other AC method in here. So it is actually pretty darn hot right now. So this fan is all I've got, and it's, it's doing an okay job. You can see another big mirror and a full-length get ready with me type mirror got a flat screen tv got a table and a couple chairs and then my view as you can see i can open it and it is open 
a little bit at the top up there. Um, but got a hotel across the street with a playground and some ping pong tables, a volleyball net, and some mini golf. Wow, did not see that on our way in. Okay, guys, so that's where I will be sleeping for the next two days. Okay, we're down here in the restaurant and bar where we'll be eating breakfast. So dinner here at the hotel. I'm gonna steal this from Hannah so I can show you all the choices because normally we don't have choices, but we have choices for dinner. Honey roasted bacon cutlet, salmon pie, pan roasted chicken, Bailey's cheesecake or fresh fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Oh my God, what is that? Wiggles. Wiggles. Has her second personal little teapot oh, wait, yeah, of the wait. day. Yeah, it is your second, right? Or did you have one before lunch that I didn't know um, about? I had hot tea on the plane. Too. Okay, so, but did you have your own teapot on the plane? No, okay, so second fancy. personal teapot yeah. of the day. All right, so this is my bacon cutlet on top of some mashed potatoes and some cabbage over here and then they brought out this family style side for all of us to pass around and share it's like a bunch of veggies hannah and emma both got the salmon what was it salmon tart pie pie salmon pie and then reese and kate both got the chicken reese has already been digging in because she's, she's reese and then Camille got the same thing that I got. So, and this is what we're dealing with. Well, Bailey's cheesecake here, what most of the table got. And then Camille and Reese went healthy. Come on, Kate. Yep. Kate's not gonna eat with the camera out. <laughs> All right, here's the outside of our, our hotel, Hotel Killarney. And we are actually gonna walk across the street over here to Texaco. And I'm hopefully gonna get myself a little cheaper Coke Zero or something like that so I can have it in the room. Back in the room now and some of our kiddos have gotten a hold of one of the volleyballs so they can play a little bit before we are down for the night because they've got curfew here in a little less than an hour so that hopefully everybody will get a great night's sleep. Well, Eddie, we made it. The longest two days probably of my life about to end and we're gonna be able to go to sleep hopefully wake up fully rested and ready to go tomorrow with another full day in the Killarney region. Hope you'll join us. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like down below as it goes a long way to help our channel. And if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Going to have a lot more of these travel vlogs coming your way, as well as, of course, our gaming videos and things like that. So with all of that being said, these were a fantastic two days, albeit very, very tiring. We'll say, see you later, educator. And what's your why?